Gas cylinders are ubiquitous across USC laboratories. And this ubiquity may engender a lack of appreciation for the hazards they pose. High pressure gases are extremely hazardous. Even for gases which don't have significant chemical hazards, they are still dangerous when under pressure because of the tremendous stored energy they contain. Therefore, it is of paramount importance that users properly select, maintain, and operate equipment used to handle high pressure gases. All gas users should know the basics of what a pressure regulator is and how it operates. Gas cylinders operate at high pressures, which depending on the gas and the cylinder type, may be more than 3,000 pounds per square inch in a full cylinder. This extreme pressure is more than enough to explode most equipment and tubing, so it needs to be reduced to lower levels for safe use. The outlet pressure should remain constant at the desired value even though the cylinder pressure will vary depending on temperature and how full or empty it is. It is a simple negative feedback mechanism. High pressure gas from the cylinder enters here and passes through this valve to the outlet. As the outlet pressure increases, it pushes this diaphragm out against this spring and closes the valve. At the pressure set point, the valve completely closes and so the pressure does not rise anymore. If gas flows from the outlet, the pressure goes down a tiny bit, opening the valve and allowing gas in. Thus, the outlet pressure stays nearly constant. This knob or wheel adjusts the pressure set point by adjusting the spring pressure on the diaphragm. When you turn it clockwise, it screws in and compresses the spring. This means that a higher outlet pressure now builds up before the diaphragm moves and closes the internal valve. When you turn it anti-clockwise, it screws out, giving a lower pressure setting. Unscrew it until loose, and the outlet pressure is zero because the internal valve stays closed. This is the safest position to start with before pressurizing a regulator. Remember the correct directions. It is not uncommon for people to mistakenly turn the pressure control knob in the same way as a regular valve and tighten it up all the way clockwise, thinking that will shut off the flow. As we have seen, that is completely wrong. In fact, it might even damage the regulator. Here are a couple of typical regulators. This one is a single stage, whereas this one has two stages. Two stage regulators are a bit more expensive but give a much more constant outlet pressure and are usually preferred. Regulators always need to be compatible with the type of gas and the maximum cylinder pressure, as well as providing an appropriate output pressure range for the intended use. The Compressed Gas Association, or CGA, has standardized the connectors used to attach the regulator to the cylinder. There are about 17 different fittings in use, designed to minimize the likelihood of using the wrong regulators with gases which have special hazards like being corrosive, toxic, flammable, or oxidizing. Many of these fittings are uncommon. It is beyond the scope of this video to cover the details. Suffice to say that when constructing new systems, you should always check with suppliers to ensure you get the right regulator for the gas you'll be using. The internal valve in a regulator can fail to close properly if the regulator is old, damaged, or is internally contaminated with dirt or debris. This can cause leakage, meaning the pressure on the outlet side slowly increases when the cylinder valve is open but gas is not being used. The pressure may reach dangerously high levels after some hours or days, depending on how bad the leak is. Regulators which are observed to leak in this manner should be retired from service and sent for repair or disposal. Also, if gas is not going to be used for an extended time, the cylinder valve should be closed and the system depressurized. Users shall never attempt to open, repair, or modify regulators. Regulators should be sent to a professional vendor for repair or servicing. In our next two videos, learn how to attach, remove, and leak test a regulator.